EOS mainnet is powered by the open source EOS IO code, but what happens when there's a bug in that code? Now, in order to understand why EOS is so different, it's important to understand what happens when there's a bug in another blockchain like Bitcoin or Ethereum. You see, on Ethereum, if there's a bug and it needs to be fixed, the entire network, the entire Ethereum blockchain generally has to be hard forked and you have to move the entire community over to the new chain where the bug is fixed. Now, that's mainly because there's no way to update anything on the Ethereum blockchain without a hard fork. This includes the core code updates, but it also, even worse, includes smart contracts. That means if there's a bug in just one smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain, the only way to fix it is to fork the entire blockchain and mess up everybody else's smart contracts in the process. Now, this is kind of like turning off the entire internet just to fix one buggy website. It doesn't make a lot of sense, right? Now, on EOS, it's a much, much different story. Now, in the three months or so since the EOS mainnet has launched, there have been a handful of bugs on the EOS mainnet that have all been addressed. Now, if this is the first time you're hearing it, I'm not super surprised because the bugs are fixed so quickly and so seamlessly that many users don't even realize there are bugs in the first place. When a bug is found in the core EOS IO code, the block producers can easily and quickly address it as they have done for these handful of bugs. We've worked alongside the other top 21 block producers in fixing a lot of these bugs and making sure that the EOS mainnet stays online the entire time. So to summarize it all, Updating the core EOS IO code is relatively seamless on EOS and allows you to fix bugs without affecting the entire network. Now, if a bug is found in an individual EOS smart contract that would power a game like EOS Dice that we've seen be so popular recently, it can easily be paused, fixed, and then redeployed without affecting the entire chain. Now, this is more like letting individual website owners fix the bugs in their websites without having to turn off every other website on the internet. It makes a lot more sense. So that's ultimately how fixing bugs works on EOS, whether it's in the core EOS IO code that powers the blockchain or in an individual smart contract that runs on top of the blockchain. Now, this ability to update a smart contract on the fly without requiring a hard fork is one of the many reasons that more and more developers are continuing to move from Ethereum to build their dApps on top of EOS. Now, this is a trend that I believe will only continue to increase as we see more and more developers announce their intention to move from Ethereum over to EOS.